Hello everybody, it's Honey Lou. I'm gonna do a little flip through of the Scaraba and Delilah tarot deck. It's created by Joanna Callahan Waldo and designed by Octavia Lucar Waldo. So here is the backs. It's really beautiful. So I did do a unboxing. Um, the lighting wasn't that good. And I really wanted you guys to see how detailed this deck is. So I wanted to switch up the lighting and show you with natural light. It's really, really beautiful. So I love a thick deck. Sorry, I wanted to grab the um, Lioness Oracle just to compare the sizes. See, they're about the same. I love it, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. It's really beautiful, um, it's very elegant. I love these silver edges, I love these backs with this hint of like this um, this beetle. So Scavia is, our Scarab, not Scrabia. Scaraba is a beetle, it's Egyptian beetle. Um, so here are the detailed backs, it's really beautiful. Okay, so yes, I put it in order. It's not exactly the way it was, um, but yeah, let's look at it. I think it's very intuitively easy to read. Instant connection when I first saw this stack come up. Um, very, a lot of intention put in this deck. Um, the colors are really beautiful. The colors actually really um, go together. I feel like it all matches it's very timeless and it feels very cosmetic or like cosmic not cosmetic cosmic um it has like a lot of fire and water i see also even with the earth but there's a lot of this watery fire feel that i get a lot of passion definitely feel like a soul deck i love this empress card i think it's really beautiful especially with the lighting there's a lot of warmth in this empress and i really love that about it Leon's going to be in the background. He's watching Mini Force and he's eating Doritos. <laughs> um, but I think it's it just it's so different, and I love the choices of the Lovers card with the um, there's how many Lovers cards. I'm gonna keep them all in. They're all gonna serve a purpose for me, and so they're all going to be in there. But here's the one. Here's another Lovers. I love this one too. This one's my favorite. Um, I like that there's some cards where it has like this collage dream board style and then some of them are not. So it gives you kind of that room to breathe when you use this deck. And I love when it's like there's only a few cards like this because then it's not too chaotic. It flows. Um, I love this chariot. You could definitely feel that movement, that fresh breath of air. And the colors. I love the colors. Who doesn't love a little teddy bear in the strength card? I think that's the best. Um, but the way she put it together feels very timeless. It feels like it's going to... Um, it feels very modern, but it doesn't feel like it's going to... There's like some collage decks that feel retro in a way like feel kind of out of date but this one i feel like it's it's fresh and it's going to be fresh for a really long time i love this card justice i love this hangman i think it's so cute i love the choices of background too and like just the choices of color oh i love this death card i think it's the best the Temperance is one of my favorite cards as well. I love this Devil card too. I love how it's chaotic and I had like how it has like these little devil um, pieces. I love this Tower card. It has like this gritty feel to it. I love this star. I wonder where she got this at. I am in the process of collaging right now. And so I'm really inspired. I love this moon card. It's so detailed. It's insane how detailed it is. The sun is stunning.
I love this world. I love the color. <clears throat> Ace of Wands, it's very quirky and cute. Two of Wands with the blues. I love those blues. This is one of my favorite cards. I think this one's very stunning and striking with all the colors with this horse, this Indian, and then these flowers. It all fits together really perfectly. This one gives me Spolia vibes with like these little stacks of things like this, how Spolia is, and I love that about this card. And there's some, you could see some inspiration with different collage styles and collage decks. But this thing definitely is just feels like it's 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 its own thing and I think it's really special. And I think it's going to be very successful. I love this six of wands. It's very cheery and fresh and bright. I love this background as well. I would love to be in this card. Seven of wands, stunning. Look at that back. Eight of Wands. I love this idea of having Eight of Wands with like this wintry feel in the background. Good job, Joanna. Because this is a Sagittarius card in Mercury, so you see that movement and there's like that incoming. Um, and it's a Sagittarius feel, so it's like in the winter time. And this one too, this is Sagittarius, so it has like that wintry feel. I mean, this could be like a black and white, but it looks like there's like snow on the horses. Ten of Wands is so cute. I love the little smile, although there's a lot of burden. She's carrying a load, but she's still smiling, and I like that about it. This one's super cute. I read this in the guidebook, and I love the way... So, Joanna is a writer. She, I believe she's wrote, wrote a few books, or a couple books, or maybe a book. I'm not too sure. I forgot, but I know she has, like, this creative mind, creative... She's an artist. She's a just a creator in general. Um, and her words are really, really beautiful. Um, there's like little snippets of each card, but each of them are really beautiful. It has like this predictive feel to it. Um, and I like that about it. And her um, writing just feels very fresh and easy to read. It's not super, you know, with big words or anything. It's easy to digest and... I think that's really important, especially with me. Um, my other video I did, I read out of it, and it was so easy. And I'm usually not a person that likes to read on camera. Um, that's not something I really like to do, but I like it. I think it's suitable for me. It's suitable for anybody. It's suitable. Yeah, it's, it's just very diverse in that way. This one's really cute and fun. Four of Cups. I love those little flowers. Look how beautiful. This one's really beautiful. Five of Cups. I love this background right here with this, with the waves. This is one of my favorite cards as well. I love this collage idea. It definitely has like this nostalgia feel to it. And I love that smiley face. This is so cute. Seven of Cups love the purples and reds nine of cups i love this ten of cups i love like these little collages pieces with just like a little hint of color and i love this family unit i think it looks really beautiful together Mama. now this definitely feels like a page of cups Mama. she's a dreamer Mom. artistic watery all about the fantasy i love it so much knight of cups is stunning yeah there's so much to look at i love how detailed it is queen of cups is cute the little walruses right there Oh, how cool the octopus is wrapped around the King of Cups. Ace of Swords. I love this Ace of Swords. It's very simple, but very nice. This Two of Swords is amazing. It feels like it's kind of in the city where it's kind of hard to go within because it's kind of chaotic and, you know, you're more focused on the outer world instead of the inner world. And so I really like this interpretation of the Two of Swords. 
Three of Swords is stunning. Four of Swords. So this one has, it reminds me of like this playhouse I used to have, this playset. It was like this little house, but it had like these little, um, like 60s furniture in there. It had like these little things you could put on the walls, these cool little lighting things. I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna have to go look it up because I've been thinking about those, those playhouses. It was really cute. Um, but I love this card. The black cat with the books. Five of Swords, yes. I love this Six of Swords. It's probably one of my favorite Six of Swords ever. Yeah, I think this is really, really well done. Seven of Swords, love it. I love seeing a woman as a Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords, I love those statues. It's really interesting. There's a lot of movement, a lot of feels. Um, Nine of Swords is amazing. I love the colors right there with the bed, the furniture. I love her dress. And like her outfit's very timeless as well. I love those masks. Those masks are amazing. Ten of Swords is amazing. I love this statue with all of these swords. The letter. Page of Swords is so cute. I love his long socks. In the books, the birds. Knight of Swords, amazing. Also, like in this doorway, there's like these little blocks. But it's, I love these birds as well. I think that looks really good. This is a very beautiful card. Good job, Joanna. Yeah, this whole deck is amazing. Queen of Swords, this girl definitely has like that Gemini look to her. She actually reminds me of Brittany in a way, um, pure red velvet. She definitely has like that airy face, the structure, the body language. I love it so much. Perfection. King of Swords, I love this card. I love the colors, this, the, the owl. I'm really drawn to right here in this area. Ace of Coins. I love this Ace of Coins. I also got a sticker. Yeah, I think this is my favorite sticker. Two of Coins is so cute and quirky. I love the colors. Like the stars, you got the boat, and these colors right here. He's nice and colorful. There's a lot of warmth. Oh, it's amazing. This color green. Three of coins, I think this is stunning. Four of coins is amazing as well. Wells Fargo, I used to have a Wells Fargo bank, like a little piggy bank, those are really cute. Five of coins, I love this. Love this six of coins. Love this seven of coins, I love right here. And right here, like the colors, with all of that lighting, it's stunning. Eight of coins, really, really detailed. Nine of coins, ten of coins, page of coins, I love that so much. Knight of coins, so cute. Queen of Coins and the King of Coins. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle him and then pull a card. So this card stock reminds me of Apparition Tarot. The thickness too. I love a thick deck. I love the sound of this deck as well.
I don't like being hard on my decks, especially when they're this thick. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius with Mercury, incoming, receiving a phone call, incoming text, something important or something's moving swiftly. Let's check out what this is about. Okay. Eight of Wands, movement, synchronicity, success, accomplishments, intensity, speed, action. This card is all about things moving quickly. Developing fast and good news coming your way. There's a sense of synchronicities with the eight. The universe has your back and just and you just need to go with it. Don't second guess things. Trust that everything will go the way you hoped. I love it so much. Joanna, you did an incredible job. This is stunning. I love it so much. I think it's going to be successful. I think everybody's going to love it who gets it. Um, here's some stickers that I got and I this beetle I think is so cute so she she packaged the deck really beautifully and there's this beautiful bead that I'm gonna keep forever it'll be my little good luck beetle um, and here's this cute little Halloweenist note that she sent me I'm stoked about Hawaii or not Hawaii I'm stoked about Halloween already I could feel the fall in the air and this deck actually gives me kind of that fresh fall feel like you know when you wake up in the morning that crisp feel and there's still kind of that warmth all that color that fall color yeah this deck is incredible okay well i hope you guys enjoy i i i i i love it so much it, it's amazing i'm really happy to have this um we'll talk more about it soon okay bye